day with us is the pastoral theme for this year. Let us make known Jesus through the media of communications. Let us ask Jesus to stay with us in all our life situations. Let us be his hands and feet in our society wherever we live. Today, we shall dwell on the topic, Witnesses of the Truth. Pope Francis tells us, All of us are responsible for the communications we make, for the information we share, for the control that we can exert over fake news by exposing it. All of us are to be witnesses of the truth, to go, to see and to share. We invite Father Roland Coelho to share with us his words of wisdom as how we can be witnessing the truth and be responsible communicators. Father Roland is the provincial of Jesuits of Goa province. My dear friends, 2000 years ago, the people brought a man possessed by a demon to Jesus. The man was blind and mute, and Jesus healed him. The people said, Awesome! Could this be the son of David? Could this be the Messiah? But the jealous Pharisees reacted differently. It is only by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. At that time, Jews believed that only someone who came from God had the power to cast out demons. But this was an inconvenient truth to the Pharisees. They did not like Jesus' loving service. Instead of accepting Jesus' good works, they twisted the truth and said that Jesus performed the miracle through the power of Satan. They put a false spin on Jesus' goodness because it was too difficult to accept the truth. Liars create the illusion of truth. Hitler and the fascist Nazis told their lies and murdered six million Jews. There are world leaders today who are spin doctors and interpret the facts to suit their own selfish interests. Some say we are living in a post-truth world where facts are viewed as less important than personal emotions and beliefs. In a context of hate, prejudice, racism, bigotry, selfishness, violence and ego, we are called to be different. We are called to be responsible communicators who are witnesses of the truth. A responsible communicator is concerned about human beings, about ethical values, about objectivity, about telling the whole truth. How do we do that? Pope Francis invites us, come and see. If you want to be a witness of truth, then we need to open our eyes, our minds, our hearts, and spend time with people. Hit the streets, he says. Listen to people's stories and confront reality. How can I be a witness of the truth? If I do not encounter Jesus in my sisters and brothers, in the poor and needy, in the widow and the orphan? In Jesus, the incarnate Logos, the Word took on a face. The Word became flesh and blood. The Word became food and drink for us. The Holy Father says that the invisible God let himself be seen, heard and touched. 
Therefore, when we come and see, when we get into the messiness of human lives, then we encounter Jesus Christ. We listen to Him speaking through people and events, and we share the truth of God's love with others. Today, we can all become responsible communicators who are witnesses of truth. We can choose to use technology for good purposes. We can brighten people's lives and give them hope. We can share how the Lord has touched our lives, healed us from our personal demons, and filled us with His Spirit. So that let us pray with the Holy Father. Lord, grant us the grace to recognize your dwelling places in our world and the honesty needed to tell others what we have seen. Lord, teach us to move beyond ourselves and to set out in search of truth. Teach us to go out and see. Teach us to listen, not to entertain prejudices or draw hasty conclusions. Teach us to go where no one else will go, to take the time needed to understand, to pay attention to the essentials, not to be distracted by the superfluous, to distinguish deceptive appearance from the truth, Grant us the grace to recognize your dwelling places in our world and honesty needed to tell others what we have seen. <laughs>